welcome to my channel. I was flipping through my news feed and somebody posted this beautiful page that she did. So it's basically, it's got like a little watch, you know, the clock arm, and she's using that to um, hold this flap down. So it opens up. Oh no, there it goes. <laughs> I must have hit it. So I wanted to recreate that. Uh, let me get to where her name is. Cindy McDonald. I believe she also has a YouTube channel. So Cindy McDonald. M-C-D-A-N-N-O-L-D. Um, I believe she posted this on Artie Mays and Friends. Okay. So that is her post, and I just loved that picture, so I wanted to try to recreate it. So what I have done to speed it up, um, this is one of my pages in my journal, and so I found this background piece, and I may or might not use this lace. I think I might because it made it look pretty. She had some kind of lace also. And these are the two pieces that I'm going to use um, as a flip over, flip out. So it's two spots to go ahead and journal on. And both of these are from Artie Mays' kit that I'm using, A Touch of Spring. And so, trying to figure out what I needed first. I went ahead and cut this the size of the postcard. I probably needed trim it to the size of this. It's just a one, each, one inch piece of paper. And then I'm going to fold it and this is going to become my hinge. I don't know if it matters. I can never fold these straight. Let's see. Okay. So I'm just going to use the fold and folder to flatten that out. Then I'm going to trim at an angle. Here's where it opens up. And this just hides this part um, just in case it shows. And I am going to just ink the edge. I don't think I can ever get the edge perfect. <laughs> And let's move this out of the way so we don't get it glued. So, I gotta figure this part out. I want this part, oopsie, come on. This part under here. And I can cut that some more so that it won't show. There we go. So if I glue that down here, then I can glue this on top of that. And then it will flip open. And then I will glue that down. Okay, before I forget, <laughs> let me do that. All right, I gotta see what I'm doing so I don't mess it up. I want that on top. All right, so I'm just gonna start with gluing half of this. my best to even it up. Yeah. Is that easier? If I kind of fold it and push it, then I know it's not going to be sticking out too much. All right. So there. And that's the bottom, and this is the top. But then I'm gonna have to try to do that. We can figure that out. I just wanna get it squared off as best I can. Remember, we don't do perfect. We do the best we can. <laughs> uh, maybe this way. I 
that looks about even and I want to make sure it's down that way it doesn't interfere and it doesn't show as much so I got that pretty much right at the edge okay that was wasn't as painful as I thought it would be I do have that ugly piece now. Why did I think that would be better looking? Now it looks like it belongs there. <laughs> that is way better. <laughs> okay, so what I have is a little brad and this little key and that fit in there. So I have to punch this through this part before I glue it down. That way the ends of the brad don't show through, you know, the back side of the paper. So let me go ahead and glue this down so that it's not flopping all over the place and in my way. I think that's probably what I need to do first. Now do I want it? I want to be able to still see the green. Okay, I think that'll work. And the bottom part. I probably need to glue this down to this first. That way I can figure out where to put the key. And I should have made this bigger. So if the key goes, we can do this and have it backed up. Because I do have this lace to cover that back side. Let's see. What do I want to do first? Decisions, decisions. I have to make sure that's big enough there. And I want to stay far enough away from there so it doesn't interfere. And this is going to get a little bulky, so I used to think oh, everything can go up to that line. But in reality, you want to get at least, you know, an eighth or a quarter inch away with your bulkier stuff. And... Um, Is this even in the middle? So well, that's about lined up. That's about lined up. Let's see. I have to hold it up. <laughs> that looks about the middle. So I do have a little punch somewhere. Here we go. So let's see if I can find where I just do the circle. Did it go through? Yep, went through. free enough to move. If that moves. Huh. I want to tape them down so that it doesn't move. Just in case it wants to show. Yeah, guys, I think the key will stay. I mean, the key will still swing on it. And 
That'll also give it a little extra thickness, so hopefully it won't tear. Okay. So I think this is ready to lay down. I've already done the edges with my Distress Oxide. smells <laughs> very very strong now we wanted it closer in this way didn't we we wanted it close enough that way and we have some of this lace let's put away that scissor get the scissor out I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just faking it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oops. Let's get a little more glue here. So now I can glue this whole thing down. Hold on, I've got some glue. <laughs> yeah. All right, gotta make sure I just glue this part, not this part. <laughs> okay. centered every which way okay let me open that up just in case something squeezes out I don't want it sticking it down so this is just a great example of you know when you see aspiration whether on Pinterest YouTube uh, on your Facebook groups you might not know exactly how they did it or have all the same things that they used um, and you can still figure out how to make it and it still look great I'm pretty happy with this let's see if the key works da, 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 da. okay so it does work it keeps it down make sure that's glued down I don't know if I pressed enough There. I've been wanting to make one of these little latches. People use those little teeny tiny uh, tag looking things, but I don't know how to make those yet. So having this key worked just fine. And then this is the page that's next to it. So I figured the green in the green. And that's it. That was pretty simple, you know? And I, I just love the idea of that. So there you go. Have fun making one. Bye-bye.